basically. Um, I am making one of my favorite, actually one of Casey and I both's favorite uh, recipes, which is this uh, Mongolian beef. It's, um, it's a flank steak and I've taken it and had it in the freezer for 20 or so minutes just to firm it up. So if you don't do that, it's really squishy when you try to cut it and it moves a lot. So you put it in the freezer for 20, 30 minutes and it firms up the meat and then you can slice it into these thin strips right against the grain. And then, uh, then I'm gonna take this and put it in the crock pot. But first, I put it into a Ziploc with a couple tablespoons of cornstarch while I get the um, while I get some of the other ingredients put in the crock pot. It's basically the sauce that it's going to sit in. So the cornstarch helps uh, coat the meat and then it works as a thickener with the sauce as, uh, as it cooks in the crock pot. You just get the, um, you know, get it all worked around on the, on the beef. And then let it sit while we get the other ingredients put together. Well, um, the first thing to add to the crock pot is like two tablespoons of olive oil. I think I have like a half a tablespoon left in this. Didn't realize I was that. I believe I'm basically you can use a different oil. I'm going to add the rest of this and then uh, there wasn't even <laughs> barely any to even use. I should have got more olive oil today. So I'm just going to sub with, let's get this up a little higher. So I'm just going to sub with some uh, canola oil. Uh, no big deal. It's not, the oil is not really the, a flavor thing, I think, with this. I mean, if, you're, if your palate is that precise, then, then you go for it. <laughs> uh, a couple tablespoons of minced garlic. So I'm going to chop some of that up. So I have this handy dandy uh, garlic roller that Casey's parents got me. Basically like a rubber sleeve. And you just put the garlic in here. And I don't know if you can see the counter. Let me look. There we go. Anyway, you basically you stick the garlic inside the tube. You press and roll. And out comes this really great chunk of garlic and all of the uh, all the husk is gone pops the cloves right out Okay, take it off. It asks for minced ginger, but I don't mess with it. I, I just use dried ginger. You don't need to, you know. If you really, really, really love ginger, fresh ginger, go for it. One tablespoon of ginger, just like there's one tablespoon of garlic, one tablespoon of ginger. I prefer to just use the dry ground ginger. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not a huge fan of fresh ginger. I, I like that flavor in there, but not the fresh ginger. I, I don't know. I, it's a preference thing. Use what you want. So... Quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper. I, I feel notice I don't really measure with measuring devices. I just, uh, I just eyeball it. 
if you uh, if you've cooked for very long, you you get a general idea. This isn't baking. This is this is cooking. They're different. In baking, things have to be exactly precise. In cooking, it's a flux. <clears throat> okay, so three quarter cup of um, of soy sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and use the measuring cup for this because it's also three quarters cup of water and then three quarters cup of uh, brown sugar. Okay. So three quarter cup of the soy sauce, then another three quarter cup of water, and the three quarters cup of brown sugar. So what do I think my soy sauce lid? There it is. So three quarter cup brown sugar. Any of you that actually cook know this trick, which is keeping your brown sugar in a uh, sealed container. It just doesn't work well enough keeping it in the bag and trying to tie it shut. Air still gets in there. If you keep it in that container, it'll stay soft and easily, um, you know, easy to use. So those ingredients, like I said, this is a really, really simple recipe. Then you just stir it all up in here. And I'm actually gonna add just a little bit more cornstarch to this. I can tell it's a little too pink. I want it to be, I want it to look as like like frosted flakes almost. I want it to look almost frosted with this cornstarch that's in here. So I think I went a little low on it. Instead of, instead of two tablespoons, I'd say maybe half a cup of cornstarch. Now I want to be honest, this is not my recipe. I got this recipe off of Facebook and um, you know, it's one of those, uh, the ones that end with tasty, you know, um, but God, it's, it's, it's seriously one of the best recipes I've, uh, I've ever gotten from one of those things. And I, I do those things all the time. So they just add the beef into the sauce, give it a stir, let it sit in the crock pot for, um, well, technically it's about four hours cook time, but, um, I'm using my, my really small crock pot, so I'm probably probably looking at three hours or so. So after about two and a half hours, I'm going to add some shredded carrots, about um, half a cup of shredded carrots. And in the meantime, I'm going to also cut up a red bell pepper. Now the original recipe doesn't call for the red bell pepper, but Casey really likes it in there, so uh, and I think it's a great, I think it's a great additive to the recipe. So, uh, we'll see you in about two hours when I shred those carrots, add them to the crock pot, and uh, about another hour after that, when it's ready to eat for dinner. Um, also, Are you in a good mood, baby? Yeah? I love it when you're in a good mood. Act Oh, are you going to talk? I was going to say, how come when I turn the camera on, you stop talking? Come on. What you got for me? You going to sing? I like that green banana bib that you got there. It's really cute. Do you like it? You do? All right. So, did you... Oh, sorry. See, that's a startle seizure. <sighs> Sorry, babe.
Are you back? Sorry. See, just typical conversation, but it surprised her with a different tone. Hey, hey, can you tell me if you had a really good day at school today? They said you did a little bit of sleeping, but that you worked really hard while you were awake. That's good news. That's good news. Did you, did you like going to school today? Was it fun? All right. They said you went to music class too. Did you go to music class? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wrong pipe. All right. Oh my goodness. You got it? All right. Let's sit up. Arms up. Goodness gracious, Hudson Ann. Goodness gracious. Okay, enough time has gone by. It's uh, about an hour before the, the meat is done. And so now it's time to add the carrots and uh, start the rice in the rice cooker. Okay, so one thing I like to do is uh, go ahead and grate the carrots straight into the bowl that I'm going to uh, store them in. And to keep that bowl from sliding around, I just wet a towel for the bowl to sit on. Then that keeps the bowl from sliding around. Uh, it says a cup but I actually did less beef than the recipe called for, about a third less. So I'm just gonna do a half a cup of shredded carrots. I just buy the baby carrots. Casey likes to uh, munch on them, and uh, that way I don't have to skin the carrots. I just, I just go straight to grate them. Of course, I end up with these little tips left because I don't want to take my fingers off with the grater. Alright. And that's uh, probably a little more than half a cup. But like I said, I don't measure everything. So, shredded carrots. And then uh, the red bell pepper. I think I established in the other video that I'm not a big fan of uh, red bell pepper. So I like to cut this into, you know, probably inch squares so that uh, so that I can find the chunks and not not eat them. Hey, Dominic. Cooking, baby. Of course, cut the cut the spines out, and uh, and uh, always also wash your your peppers. I uh, I always cut the spines out and knock the seeds out when I wash them. So I always slice it first, then I wash my long pieces, and then I cut it into small pieces. And also, it's good for your knives, or well, it's bad, it's bad for your knives to cut through the skin side. That actually dulls your knives. So cut through the, uh, the meat first.
I call this the Chinese chop. It reminds me of the chunks of peppers that you get at the Chinese restaurants in their different dishes. And uh, Chinese chop makes it easy to pick up and transfer into the pot. So I'm gonna give this one more nice stir, get those peppers worked down into the sauce. Leave it on high, put that lid back on, and let it cook for about another hour and a half, probably. Um, just, just want the meat to be tender. And I've gotta get my uh, rice cooker out and start the rice. Actually, I'll probably wait another half hour uh, to an hour. The rice takes about 40 minutes to cook. So uh, yeah, I'll probably wait a little while to start that. Okay, we're getting there. We got about another 45 minutes or so, but you can see the peppers and the carrots and the beef have all just really integrated well. I really wish there was smell-o-vision so that you could check this out. Just giving it a stir so that some of the bottom gets to the top and the top gets to the bottom so that it works, uh, works some of that last bit of cooking out. But Looking good, right? Just let me flip it around. And uh, I like to put a little bit of uh, sesame seeds over it. And then, I, like I said, I don't dig the, the peppers. So there's peppers in that one for Casey. And then garnish with some green onion. And there's a fork for Casey. Let's see what you think, babe. Mongolian beef. Yummy. Look at this. How fancy. Tell me if it's any good. It's okay. probably really hot, so be careful. Mmm. It's really good, babe. Yeah? It's like... You do good. It's good. one of my favorite dishes that Chinese. I make, so... Is it Chinese? Ah, Mongolian. Yeah, it's Chinese. <laughs> good Chinese. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's uh, one of those tasty recipes off Facebook. It. Just can't beat it. It's my it's it's my favorite thing I've found online for for dinner. Now me, I'm skipping the peppers, just putting the sesame seeds on mine. But mm, yummy, yummy. Okay, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys tomorrow, and uh, hopefully you'll make this for your family. If you do, please send me a comment. Put a comment down there and say, you know, I made this for my family and it was delicious. Or send me a comment that says, you know, I tried to make this and I screwed it up. Or one that says, I made it and my family hated it. Anyway, just send me a comment. Let me know if uh, if you dug it. If you didn't, you know, oh well, we love it. So, see you tomorrow.